Hi, I'm Liji from the product management team, and I'd like to show you how easy it is to protect your Microsoft SQL Server estate using Veritas Net Backup. Let's get to it. Our simple web UI is very powerful. It allows you to go in and discover instances, databases, availability groups. It lets you go and actually do intelligent policies for protecting your SQL assets. You know, the days of having to go ahead and create batch files to generate SQL commands are over. This protection plan functionality that we have allows you to go ahead, create those batch files on the fly. We also also have our VMware application state capture VADP integration as well, which you've come to know from previous years. In this uh, quick small video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to do SQL Server instant access protection. So over here, I have a backup deployment. On this backup deployment, I've configured our deduplication storage engine. So here we have MSDP or Media Server DDU pool. And this DDU pool allows us some functionality called instant access. So what's instant access? Instant access is, especially in the terms of databases, you can create an instant access database directly from the backup image that's stored on our DDU storage. That database is available literally instantly and achieves almost a near zero recovery time objective. So now backup basically mounts the database snapshot directly on the backend storage and treats the snapshot just like a normal database. Let's go to workloads and SQL Server. So under SQL Server, we have instances, availability groups, and database tabs. These are where we define the instance. So once we add an instance, and then you can go into the availability groups tab or the databases tab and discover databases. Once a discovery job runs, they come up with all these databases. Let's go and filter down for one particular SQL server. And I'll go and take a look at the AdventureWorks database. So this has now been configured with the protection plan. What's a protection plan, you might ask? A protection plan is quite simply a plan, a plan that allows you to define how you wish to protect your database, what configuration parameters to use. The requirement is that we need to use snapshot backups for instant access. It allows you to define where you want to send your database to. That's our deduplication storage, so that we can leverage the instant access. The performance parameters that you would need, like how many stripes you want to use and the block sizes, and transaction log options. This protection plan is also where you would have to define your schedules as to when you want these backups to take place and also the assets that are protected by it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at a protected asset. So coming up on a protected asset, let's go into SQL under workloads, databases. I can go ahead and check for my database. There's the AdventureWorks database. Let's go and use that. Find a recovery point. All right, let's go and grab something. And configure instant access. Let's do that. Go and select the recovery point. Go next through it. We'll just call it dash IA. and perform recovery, and that's it. You see that it's actually going to take four backup images, I'm going to perform the full recovery, and you can go ahead and view the Instant Access database. Now, it's not ready yet, but this is the Instant Access database. It's, uh, if you hover, it says dash IA. So once this recovery is done, this database would be ready and attached, and so you can manipulate it directly from SQL Management Studio. Let's go take a look at that. So here's SQL Management Studio, and you can see there's our database, AdventureWorks 2016-IA. And you can expand it. It's just like any other database you have. The only difference, that's spun up from our storage. That brings us to the end of this really quick demonstration. Microsoft SQL self-service options available to database administrators through NetBackup using our web UI, which also allows them to 
perform these actions using web APIs, put them in complete control of their database protection recovery as well as their dev test needs. Thanks very much for listening today.